Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily monitor the pH of water using remote sensing technique in Google Earth Engine platform. So basically we are also providing the online training platform. So that's why you can easily uh, make any kind of web application and you can easily monitor the water quality monitoring for any region. So in this time, I will try to discuss a PS, mainly how we can easily monitor the PS of water using uh, remote sensing technique in Google Earth Engine platform. So first of all, here you can see this is the one kind of reference paper. In this time, I will follow this paper and try to uh, develop this type of model. So here you can see for the Sentinel multi-spectral instrument, a uh, 30 to 30 kernel. So we can get the PS, this type of equation. Okay, also you can see the signal to multispectral 90 to 90 meter kernels. We can get this type of equation about the pH as well. You can also the R square value you can see 0, uh, 0 0.79. Also you can see the land set 90 to 90 meter uh, kernels. We can get the pH this type of value. You can get the R square is 0 0.3. So in this time I just simply keep an equation of pH and then further use in Google Earth Engine platform to develop this type of model. So here you can see I already write this code and I can get this type of result. So basically for this study here we can get this type of value basically this type of red color identify about that high pH of water and this type of blue is also about that uh, low pH of this water. So in this time here you can see if I check any region suppose I just simply click on here then I can get about the pH about this uh, water body here I can get the 3.64 okay. So now I can easily uh, find out the pH scale so here you can say I can get the 3.64. So basically you can see the acidic okay so this water is the acidic and uh, 7 is the neutral and further when it will be across the uh, 7 then it will be alkyne okay so in this time here you can see for this study idea suppose i click on here for this i want to check for the ph about this water so i can get the negative 4.5 so in this time it will be uh, less than zero okay so for that this uh, water of this uh, is the very very acidic we can get in here so if you want to check suppose this type of other region suppose i click on here so now let's check what the problem we can get in this time we can get the ps is the 3.69 so for that in this time we can according to the ps scale we can get that it's the acidic so we can get the value is the acidic so in this time first of all here you can see uh, first of all we try to make uh, the water basically this one uh, we can see this is our satellite images so in this time i use that that landsat imagery and further we are just uh, image of water okay just we extract the water body from this uh, satellite image as you can see we extract the water body okay we are just extracting the water body and further we are just applying this formula basically this type of ps formula we are just applying in our code and then try to check what is the condition about the ps of this water body so here you can say i can get this type of things okay so as well as we also try to make the time series chart for this uh, for the check for the condition for the different type of the ps so here again so i can get this type of time series chart so here you can see about this result we can get we can get the high ps mainly um uh, ps uh, 8.69 okay you can see ps 8.6 uh, may uh, 9 uh, 2021 so in this time we can get the ps is the 8.6 so basically in this time we can get the water body is mainly according to our scale we can get the alkyne okay basically you can see the chart it show about the value for the ps 8.692 so it's across the uh, seven greater than seven uh, greater than seven so that's why we can say that uh, we can say that it's a totally alkyne we can get the alkyne water body uh, in the uh, 9 may 2021 okay also you can see it's low about that we can get the 1.28 so we also get that uh, December 19 1.2 pH value. So it's um, indicating the acidic acidic uh, the of the water body. So basically using the pH we can easily uh, monitor using the remote sensing. Uh, okay, and we can easily find out this type of things. We can easily create this type of time series chart. So in this time I use here the Landsat top of atmospheric satellite imagery. If you want you can also use here the Sentinel two satellite imagery to monitor the pH. Okay. So basically this is the process about that here you can see this is the code so first we try to max water max uh, using the mndwi so here i can get the mndwi you can see this is the water okay which has uh, max the water from this satellite imagery 
and further we are just applying this type of formula okay so basically these are uh, equation about that for the ps we simply input that and further we try to uh, check about this result so after getting this map if you want to check about the validation uh, what's the validate of your map or accuracy of your uh, ps map so for that first of all you have to collect them collect some sample suppose i just simply click on here here you can say i can get the value about the ps so and you can say i can get the value 2.96 so you also check the same water on this location and then try to check what the ps in your laboratory okay and further you are just try to find out that root mean square error and you can easily get the accuracy of your uh, overall map okay you can take the some random sample okay so if i try to check the uh, some point and take the value okay and then you also try to uh, take the water body from that and you must be uh, use this formula only for the inland water body okay you try to uh, follow this method only for the inland water body but when you want to work for that river water body or flow of water body then this formula is not work so you must uh, use this algorithm in the inland water body then you can easily monitor the ph of water using this equation okay so if you have any question or any doubt you can also ask me further i'll try to give the answer in the video description uh answer i will try to uh, give the answer so as well as if you want to join this online live training session on the water quality monitoring so only monitoring the all of those parameters such as turbidity chlorophyll total suspended solid sentinel uh image design uh, then salinity temperature bod water marks then you can easily join and then further you can also uh, learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level for water quality monitoring okay so today is no more thank you for watching that stay happy stay safe